Hey, what's up everyone? It's Zolvek. Today I came across a kinda nice video. I'm not even an Apex player. I play a bit of Battle Royale here and here. I did Call of Duty a lot. But I've seen uh, people speaking about Battle Royale and competitive and I did a competitive here and here in my life and I really like the competitive aspect in life. I like kind of the teamwork aspect and evolving in group and I'm the type of guy who like constructive criticism. I like when people tell me when I do something wrong and I like like to 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 tell to my teammate what he did wrong so we can move forward together and with a lot of people sometimes it's gonna create conflict and then you're gonna have almost a one view on them to prove them that you're better before they're gonna take any of your tips but the reality is you're gonna see most of the pro player are not like just giving tips they are giving and taking tips and the meta is constantly evolving uh, it's pretty hard to be al always right because, uh, like I said, the competitive is constantly evolving. Uh, they change teammates a lot. So today, yeah, I bring you a debate between uh, three people. I, I, I just bring a part that explain really well my way of talk about how to get good in competitive because getting good into any competitive yes there's a part of the grind yes there's a part of talent but there's a part of team play into team game because we there's some solo game but even if so in solo game if you're not able to ask question if you're not able to look some guide about how to do things better Trying to find everything by yourself and becoming the best of the world is something that is almost impossible right now because in the past there was no information like Google. Uh, the tool to do the research, research was just like really hard to, to, to get and, and do the research with. But now anybody can get the same like the best meta out there, they're gonna go watch a video and they're gonna own it on the first day in the game. So if you try by yourself to create the best build, you're already a couple steps behind them. So this is why sharing information is a huge thing. And if you're able to take it or not, gonna depend, uh, like it's gonna make a big part of your progress. So, if you really want to get better into competitive on any game, I'm not only speaking about New World or Call of Duty right now. If you really want to be good in competitive, listen to this video. It's really worth it. Listen to your teammate. Listen to the people around you. Like, even if it's a noob, give him a chance. When he says something, maybe... Get, a part could be right, a, car, a part could be wrong. Uh, really? Like I said, we should definitely uh, do VOD reviews. Um, we already we said can. this, we should... Uh, yeah, it was yeah, on the weekends? Uh, it was just, uh, no, no, we're doing it in between the days, whenever we have time. Um, like, like once every two. I would say... Uh, the main thing for sure is, I mean, like, we should be able to critique in between our games. I think, like, that should... Especially in scrims. I think if we want to save critiquing for you know, afterwards on like a match day to not ruin vibes. Sure. But I think during scrims, like, you just gotta suck it up and just, just like, you know, if someone makes a mistake, I, I think it would just be, I think it would be healthy too. Like, um, everyone critique each other. Like, if, if someone makes a mistake, even if it's obvious, just say it. Like, so it's, it's not, it's not personal. It's right? just like, like if it's, it's like, if, I, if, yeah. if you made an obvious mistake, right? It's just like, it's gonna be, yeah. if, if the person knows, then it's like, we're not gonna say anything. Like, there's like nothing no, to be I, said I, then. I, oh, he's like, oh, if he knows, I, he knows, I'm not going to say anything. There's nothing that could be done. I, there's no I, such I, thing I, I in think, this world that that works like that, in my opinion. It just I, doesn't I, work like I, that. I, I just think, yeah, I think we should just critique every time. When someone makes a mistake, critique, right? There's no, there's no, if everyone is just constantly critiquing, it's, it's, we're all going to be in a mindset where it's like, it's all good, right? 
and like we're always just gonna try to get better i mean that's the whole point like if you have something to say just say it the other person might not even know it's too right like sometimes it's all it's obvious but it's not that obvious so just just critique each other listen if it's obvious then just say okay i got it and then boom So tell me, if you really want to get better, why are you not listening to everyone around you and trying to grab information? If you really want to get better, that ego inside of you, you need to shovel it down and just listen to everyone. And this is like what I do to create content. Like <clears throat> you, you're going to hear me saying some stuff wrong and you see the day after I'm going to correct myself and it's it just a part of the evolution. And, you know, it's better to see a human that is trying constantly and doing mistake than seeing someone who is not even trying because he's afraid of doing a mistake. So on this, I wish everyone a good day. Peace out.